Hey guys, my name is Max Taylor. I'm a member of the customer success team here at New Order. Our agenda today will provide a step-by-step -step tutorial of the new product gallery, line sheets, custom lists, and the campaigns feature rolling out with our anticipated New Order 4.0 release. Eric Panisi, our head of product, will be standing by over the second half of our webinar to address any questions that come through in the meantime. Before we dive in, I do want to extend a huge thank you to our webinar attendees today. New Order's product roadmap for 4.0 is driven by and ultimately for customers like yourselves. We appreciate the time you can spend with us, as well as your engaged feedback. Now, as you can see, our product gallery retains the layout you're familiar with today, with some subtle improvements. The shopping cart will continue to add to your working order, and the thumbs up you currently know has turned into the star feature. What's convenient about this is you now have multiple custom lists to work with, or you can add an, a new one altogether. Another major convenience is the ability to direct link. Copying the link for this item can insert it to a buyer for a text message or an email. The expanded view you already know is still available. Again, you have the ability to add this to a list, whether it be custom. Now, if you want more detail, just select the few detail here. You can click onto an item to get a high res image and zoom in to really get a texture of the item itself. Now you'll notice when I scroll over an item, the checkbox emerges. Selecting this will actually trigger a drop down tab. You have the ability to select all or additional actions on the right hand side. You can choose to add to order, add to list, add to line sheet, or you can actually export all of the product data based on the items you selected. Now, let's create a custom list. As you notice, I can do that based on the star feature, or I can go into custom list directly. Notice I'll select create new. Now here, I can title my custom list. Let's say I'm gonna do cashmere's. I can put in a description, very soft, <laughs> And then I can add my products. So here I can type in to my open text field and add these sweaters as I please. Now you'll notice you can add as many products as you want, including separators. Or if I decide I don't want the separator, I can always remove it. Now let's take the extra step and send the system buyers. So I'll click on send. Now, a new feature part of 4.0 is what we call campaigns, which will help you to quantifiably track your promotional efforts. So here I can plug in the name of my campaign. The easy order feature is still available. And then I'll select my recipients. Now I can do this on an individual basis or I can apply what we call smart groups. What I created was California retailers. I'll touch on that in a second. Now, as you're used to today, you can plug in the subject and then anything additional you want to include as a message to your recipients. Now I've done everything I need to do for my campaign. I'll send this out to buyers and now I'll be able to track that campaign which I'll show you guys in a second. First, I want to show you guys smart groups. So here I'll go to my navigation tab. You'll notice the smart groups is now a feature. What I created, which you saw earlier, was California retailers. The way I used this was to refine basically all of my buyers based out of California. Smart groups 
will allow you to filter on multiple different criteria. For instance, based on company, reps, the country, zip code, and other fields. Now, it's smart in the sense that this will continue to update, seeing as New Order is a living, breathing platform. For instance, if I were to add a new buyer based out of California, they would automatically be added to this list. Now, let's track the campaign that I created. You'll notice the campaigns is also a feature here now. So what I did earlier was created a campaign called Fall Rollout. It included all of my cashmere selections. So I'll click into this. You'll notice in the right-hand corner, I have the ability to view campaign activity. Selecting this will give me much more detail on my promotional efforts after sending out the email. I can see everyone I've sent it to, who hasn't opened it yet, who has, who's clicked on it, and how many orders I've received based on it. So this way, now you have the metrics to back all of your email blasts. Now another convenience about New Order 4.0 is within our line sheets. From an admin perspective, you can create these on the fly. I went to the line sheet section and selected create new. Here it's very easy. We have an expanded heroes image, which you'll be able to apply here. You can plug in a description as you wish, and then build out your template. The currencies you want to include, you can draw on existing templates as well as custom. Any product details you want to feature. And then similar to my custom list, create add product. So again, I can draw on cashmere and add these as I wish. In order to publish them, I'll just select active. So that's a quick overview of what to expect with New Order 4.0, including a walkthrough of the product gallery, custom lists, line sheets, and the campaign feature. Now for the exciting part, I'll open up to questions with Eric Panisi, our head of product. Thanks, guys.